you know, we're at WIDI right now, Women in Tech International at the summit. Um, what can we do specifically to maximize the potential of young women into our world? Um, I, I think what I believe, first of all, I don't differentiate between women and girls and boys. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a really... Human. Yes. Yes. I think it's a really important message to give all children. This is not about your gender. This is not about color. This is not about anything other than you as a human being. You can learn anything you want. So I would encourage, hey, stop being, I'm a girl or I can, you know, don't be afraid. Just go do it. Mm -hmm. And we should support them as much as we can, which means we should support them in the real world, not separate them from boys or separate them for some, you know, I, I don't believe in that separation. I think, you know, um, early on when we were raising our kids, we put computers on the floor even when they were born and then when they started crawling, they would go and, you know, kind of play around with them. It didn't matter. So we. You know, we've, unfortunately for us, you know, we, are in a, we were in a different position. But I think all of us can take those kind of uh, steps where we don't differentiate that you're a girl or a boy. It takes time to get that into their head. I mean, the generation that's kind of s frozen right now, it's harder to change their mindset versus the next generation that's coming up. So I, I highly recommend that all adults all women go and mentor in the in their local classrooms. Go and say, look, I am a scientist. Look, I am whatever I am. You know, you can do it too. So this is going to take a little bit of time, but I think we should be able to mentor. And everyone needs mentoring. That's what we heard at Witty. That's all most women are going. You need mentorship. Yes. And so do children. I like your firm, how firm you are about human and the importance of that. Once we start differentiating, breaking people up, let's just call it all human and let's yes. call it equal opportunity to access all these different yes. technologies for education and for inspiration and for actualization for each human, for each child um, when they're born into the world. Completely align with that, yeah. I, I actually, can I say something about that? Yes. I worry about, you know, this, uh, the generations of, say, uh, excuse me, but I don't know how to say it, so I'm going to say it, the white boy syndrome, right? Mm -hmm. We are, cr are, are, we are creating an un unintended consequence of, say, raising others by pulling someone down. Mm. Right. This is what the previous generations did. They, you know, pushed the uh, minorities to stay ahead. Mm -hmm. Now we want to push those and pull them down and bring up this. I think there's got to be some other way to kind of keep all people mm -hmm. kind of moving ahead and not putting, pulling mm -hmm. someone down so the others can rise. Mm -hmm. I, that's what we have to find, that equilibrium so that we can actually not do unintended consequences. Um. Yeah, I just, I just saw a, a post that was about like, why can't women hate men? And I was like, wait a second. Yeah. I was like, wait a second. Like, can we just figure out how to all be as yes. humans together? Yes. Because you just made it very clear. Like there was definitely pushing people down to go up, but now by pushing these, these down guys. to go up, we're not any better. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We're not yeah. any better. So, you know, for me, I think it would be great if, you know, we kind of say, okay, cool headed. How do we all make forward movement? Yes. Right. And, you know, there's so much stuff to be done. Even these systems we're talking about, they're not perfect. We just started out on them. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Right? In, the internet just started. To, like, yes. Yeah. In terms of the length of evolution. And, exactly. And here we are pressing our fingers onto computers 
That's and right. without any uh, real hard looks at how it's affecting our psychology, our human yes. interaction, yes. Um, without any hard looks at the structure for advertising and the way that companies make revenue. Um, but you took a very hard look at education. Now I want to just quickly make sure that you address this because the general data privacy rights things could be coming a, a bigger deal now. Um, so students that are under the age of 13 need a parental consent to yes. use the platform. Right. Okay. Um, um, but besides- Although the, yeah. previously, as a nonprofit, we didn't have to worry about that. Mm. And when, I, when you think about this, right, a child under 13 comes to CK12 and I'm going to say to that child, I'm sorry, you can't learn anything until your parent gives you permission. Yeah, I know. Right? I mean, the irony of that, it kills me. Yeah. Especially if the parent has some, is there some sort of a struggle in the relationship between the kid and the parent? The, pa the kid almost can't act as a sovereign individual uh, before the age of 13. I want to know how a plane flies. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If, no, I'm you're, sorry, you're, th no, you're under you're 13, 13, you can't do that. Yeah. And they need to sign off. Yes. And then what if the parent says that I don't want you to learn how the, a the plane uh, flies? Yeah. Which parent wouldn't want to do, do that? Do that, yeah. Th that gosh, it almost adds a layer of complexity. Yes. But it also a it adds a layer of security at the same time, so it's kind of hard to. Well, you know, I think what's, what's I, I always ask when, okay, Google and Facebook, I completely understand that, that you don't want your kids to be on it all the time and whatever, and who are they being exposed to, but it's a place like CK12, yeah, yeah. right, where you're going to practice. No, mm. you can't practice. Oh, so it's almost like general data privacy rights should be uh, a little bit more tailor to individual sites yes because on facebook it totally makes sense exactly versus on ck12 this is so like the, ridiculous that's a good point yeah right yeah. this is so ridiculous that you want a child who in the moment has this curiosity and wants to learn something goes on a site under 13 and there's a no you can't enter yeah yeah you can't satisfy your curiosity